One man got lost in the forest. He wandered for a long time and finally came across a hot dusk. Here was no one inside, so he decided to go to bed. But he couldn't sleep for a long time. Because he wore portraits of some people hanging on the walls and did seem it to him. Had they were looking to him ominously. Eventually, he fell asleep from exhaustion. In the morning, he was walking up the bridge sunlight. He were no portraits on the walls. They were windows. One girl photographer decided to spend the day and night alone in a Raymond forest. She wasn't afraid because it wasn't the first time she went hiking. She spent the whole day photographing trees and grasses with a film camera and in the evening settled down to sleep in her small tent. The night passed quality, the horror of it too. Her only a few days later. All four reels turned out great shots, expert for the last frame. All the photos showed her sleeping in her tent in the darkness of her night. My girlfriend wrote today that they didn't know that he had suck, a charming brother and even a twin. It turned out that she had just stupid by my house. Not knowing that I was late at work until the night, and he met with there, he introduced himself, treated me to coffee, told me some funny stories from childhood and escorted me to the elevator. I don't even know how to tell her that I don't have a brother. As a teenager, I often met my mother for work. This usually happened near a small hardware store near the central market. During one of weather meeting, I, as usual, sat on the porch of the store and waited for her. The time was dark. Because nothing cold, the scene burned. The area was illuminated by the lantern. On the other side of the road, I saw a silhouette which a feast that took for a pole. But after taking a close look at him, I fell into stupor. It turned out to be something. The creature with Julie resembled a human. The arms and legs were very thin, and the torso was shaped like a bedside table. The head was raised and a long neck, and was studded with loudspeakers, which trembled. 100 people ate 5. He was hissing from and Jeffreds shouted random words. I got up in tension, it was to wear to do anything about it. Suddenly this big guy moved towards me. The voice was replaced by the sound of siren that called wake up the whole block which happened. Window of houses began to light up here and there. Apparently this scowled off the monster. He turned it sharply, 108 degrees and jumping over love shoots. Disappeared in the direction of the waiting, closest outskirts of the city. No, 14, live. His voice echoed around. I stood there, no understanding what he happened. Soon, Mom come. She asked something about strange sounds. But I said, I didn't know anything. Already at night, I heard the distorted speech again. Apparently, one house name. Apparently, it was standing right by the window. I carefully rolled it over onto my back. In his head, curled be seen throughout the glass. My student summit to be looking at the room. Suddenly, I have reached in it. Cry came from somewhere. The monster turned on him and disappeared from Saged. The scream ran out once more and ended in a fighting weather. It's back again. <laughs>